Hi, I'm Susan Dubois, owner of Trainway Silks, and we are back after our piece of Silk Fusion has had a chance to dry. Dry, how long does that take? A really good question. And with most answers, it's it depends. If you live in Colorado where I do and the humidity is always low, then you can pretty well know that it's gonna be dry overnight. If you live someplace where the humidity is high and it's been really hot for a while, it could take 48 hours to dry. As much as we really want to get in and get that screen off of that silk and see what it looks like, it's really important to let it be completely dry. Otherwise, your screen is going to stick and pull off some of your silk fusion. So here's our screen. If you remember our, our dried sandwich, if you remember when we were making our piece of silk fusion and we were all at the very end, we lifted off the top screen and set it back down because I said that would make it easier for the screen to come off and it does. Here I've already been able to start a corner. It works best if you lay down, if you have a flat surface rather than up in the air. And then you can use your hand, your finger, whatever part works best for you, and you go around it slowly. And see this comes off pretty easily. I like to go around the outside edge and then come in and do the center. Now the reason it's coming off so easily is because when our Silk Fusion was wet, we peeled the screen off and set it back down. And there is the top screen. Now, we didn't do that on our bottom screen, so the bottom screen is going to be a little bit more of a challenge. I find an edge, and a thumbnail really helps. I'm going to be doing this left-handed today because I don't have a thumbnail on my right hand. And you scratch at it until you get a spot that is lifting, wanting to lift up. And if you don't find it on that corner, just go to another corner. Ah, here's a corner that seems to be happy. So, again, having it laid flat, and then I stick my finger under it and work out from that feathery edge. If you go too quickly, it is possible to start to rip your Silk Fusion along the edges where it's feathery. So starting in the middle and working it outward is really helpful. Now this piece decided that once it was ready to get going, it actually is moving fairly easily. But if you struggle with getting your screen off of your Silk Fusion, it's okay. You've done it correctly. It just requires a little bit more patience and a little bit more anticipation. Now that I've gone around all of the outside edges, then I work through the middle and it's wanting to come off. So here's our piece of dried Silk Fusion. The next step is to iron it. It's and the reason you do that is you want to heat set it. The textile medium that was used is acrylic, and that means if you're old enough to remember acrylic floor wax, it's wa water, soap and water wash up. What that means is since this is acrylic, if you don't heat set it, if you get it wet, it could come apart. So you have your iron, your pressing board, if you like your iron, you use a press cloth. If you don't like your iron, you don't need to. Mine's pretty old, but it's faithful, so I still use it. Lay it down. Now your iron, think about it. You're heating silk, so you're gonna have it on a heat set for silk. Silk is gonna be before there is any steam, so no steam at all. Set this over, and then start to press. And this is pressing, not ironing. Pressing means you actually press. And you count to technically five, but if you're like me, you count too fast. So I go one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, and because I'm still counting too fast. And then I lift it up and I move it. And I do it again, and I keep counting. And I lift it up, that hasn't been 10, so I'm gonna be patient. And then I'm gonna lift it up and do it again. And when that 10 seconds is done, lift it up and do it again. Then I'm gonna turn this direction to make sure that I cover the whole entire piece. What I like to do is when I have a lot of Silk Fusion, I set up the ironing board and I put on a good movie. Once you've done the first side, I always do the second side. In part because that way I know the heat has gone all the way through, and in part because I know no matter how hard I try, I really count too fast for my 10 seconds. 
So this gives it a second chance to do it. And remember, it's press, not iron. And you count to 10 each time, and you keep going. Another benefit of heat setting it is it also brings the shine up. You're, the, it's almost as if the textile medium just ever so slightly kind of softens and melts, and so it gives a much smoother, shinier surface to the silk. And after all, we're, we love shine or we wouldn't be using silk. And then, once that piece is done, you create in any of those wonderful projects that you have in your mind. Thank you.